On day one, I walked into a village to see Venom not too far away. I hid and watched and I could see someone inside him. He seemed to be arguing with himself. What's going on? Is that Eddie Brock? I warned you not to do that. Don't you have any self-control? I was hungry. I can't just stay hungry that long. You know what? I'm done until you learn to hold back. No, wait, Eddie, come back. I watched as Eddie stormed off and Venom's blob form yelled for him. Suddenly, Carnage appeared out of nowhere. He also seemed to have watched what just happened. Well, isn't this interesting? You, what are you doing here? I saw your little fight with your host. Now that you're powerless, I can easily destroy this planet. No, you can't do that. You think I care about the opinion of a puny little blob? In 100 days, the world will be dust at my feet. Carnage ran off without another word. Just then, Venom noticed me and started yelling. You, come over here. I need your help. Oh, uh, sure. Good. Let's get started then. He quickly merged with me, and I became Venom. Now I have ten more hearts and full armor. What the? Hey, this is awesome. Listen, Carnage is trying to destroy Earth, and I need a host in order to stop him. Hope you don't mind. You could have just asked. I'd be happy to help. Good. In that case, we need to hurry and get the Sinister Six, but first we need to practice working together since you're my new host. Let's do this. We then set off into the big city. Now that I merged with Venom, I was unstoppable. But when I turned the corner, I came face to face with a tank. This reminds me of today's sponsor. War Thunder! It's an amazing free-to-play multiplayer game where you can battle it with a massive roster of military, naval, ground, and air vehicles. It's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac, so almost anyone can play their newest update, Fire and Ice. For the first time, you'll be able to use flamethrowers to roast your enemies. With the new update, players also get to see more destruction and mayhem on the battlefield. Various parts of your vehicle fly off when it explodes, and you can riddle your opponent with bullets in real time. There's tons of unique vehicles, spanning from the beginning of the 20th century to now. My favorite is the Tor M1, with its airstrike capabilities. So don't just sit there. Download War Thunder for free with the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months or more will receive a half a million silver lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, a week of premium account and other bonuses. Hurry up and get all of these from the link in the description. Thanks War Thunder for sponsoring this video. We got started on day two, with Venom giving me instructions. All right, I need you to make us a base of operations. We're gonna need supplies. We set off to collect some wood and stone to make a full set of tools. Then I collected a bunch of logs for our base and got started on building a nice wooden cabin. Hey, let's take a quick break. I'm getting hungry. Okay, what do you eat normally? Human brain. What? Or chicken. Oh, phew. I can work with that. I agreed to get some chickens to feed him and quickly made a small coop to keep them in. Then we went to hunt. We searched until we came across a village. Awesome. We can take some of their chickens. Unfortunately, we couldn't seem to find chickens anywhere. Uh, I need food now. Venom came out and hungrily killed a nearby villager to eat. What are you doing? I was satisfying my hunger. You can't do that. That was an innocent person. Jeez, you're worse than any. Look, if you want my help, then you're only allowed to kill evil people. Just when we were about to leave, I heard clucking from the back of the village and found some chickens. There were chickens here. See? Whatever. I gathered the chickens and had them follow us back home. On day three, I brought the chickens home, bred them, and killed some to feed Venom. <laughs> My hunger is satisfied. Then it's time we went looking for the Sinister Six. The first one we should look for is the Vulture. I know exactly where to find him. Okay, lead the way. While we were traveling, we ran into the middle of a battle between Carnage and Spider-Man. Whoa, it looks like Spider-Man needs our help. Should we intervene? No, I hate Spider-Man. Oh, well, that's too bad, because we're going to help him. I forced Venom to come out fully, so I gained health and grew a Venom hammer out of my hand. I ran in to help Spider-Man, and he was confused. Oh, uh, 
Sweet. Fools, even the two of you together cannot stop me. Carnage swung away, leaving Spidey and I alone. Right, that's why you were running away. Hey, thanks for the help, Eddie. Just then, Venom went away and revealed my face. Oh, uh, who are you? The name's Bronzo. Nice to meet you, Spidey. I'm a big fan. Huh. All right, well, thanks for the help anyway. Listen, Spider-Man, Venom and I are getting a team together. You mean like the Avengers? No way! Those guys are lame! We are getting the Sinister Six to help us. That sounds like a really bad idea. I'm gonna go tell Tony Stark. <laughs> hmm, maybe I shouldn't have told him about our plan. You think? On day four, I continued looking for the Vulture's base. We came across a warehouse, but it appeared to be abandoned. I don't see anybody, but I'll take a look around just to be safe. I started rummaging through some boxes and found an arc reactor. Huh? Cool. Suddenly, the vulture came swooping in. Hey, what are you doing with my stuff? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll put it back. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you. The vulture had transformed into Mysterio. Suddenly, the real vulture flew into the room. What do you want? I transformed into Venom so they would recognize him. Hello, friends. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's good to see you. I'm here because I need to tell you. Carnage has a plan to destroy the whole world. And that includes us. So we got to stop him. Yeah. It sounds like a problem. We can help you, but only if you and whatever dude you're piloting can get the rest of the Sinister Six on board. All right, we will. Is there anything else I can do to help the cause? Well, there is one thing. Only like 17% of our viewers are actually subscribed to the channel, and we need to get that number up. Okay, I'll do my part by subscribing to Bronzo, and I hope everyone watching who isn't subscribed does the same. While traveling from days five through six, I decided to ask Venom why he was fighting with Eddie. It's simple. Let me show you. This is it. I'm not killing anymore. We are done when I say we are done. Why can't you just retire and live the good life? I want to become a superhero. A super, a superhero? <laughs> You're kidding, right? You'll never stop eating people. Fine, if this is how you want to be. It is. Now go find someone else to play your little games. I might die, you know. Not my problem. See ya. Eddie, Eddie. So that's when I met you, and it's a good thing we were compatible. Otherwise, you would be dead. <laughs> um, yeah, good thing. Let's keep moving. On days seven and eight, we got back to the base. This place looks like trash. Time for an upgrade. Yeah, you're right. First, I went out looking for materials to craft and build with. I found some iron and coal in the caves and used it to craft some iron tools. I started making iron armor, but Venom stopped me. Hey, you won't be needing that. I'm all the protection you're gonna need. All right, bet. I collected some more materials for the base, then traveled back and started to upgrade. I used polished granite, diorite, and andesite. Site. The place looked like a laboratory, making it a perfect base of operations for the Sinister Six, complete with my own room, chests, furnaces, and a giant fireplace. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Suddenly, Doctor Strange appeared out of nowhere. Venom was totally in control, and I couldn't do anything. Doctor Strange was flying through the air and shooting the red balls of energy at us. Eventually, I was able to regain control and force Venom to yield. That's enough, Venom! Thank you for ceasing to attack me, freak. All I'm here to do is tell you that the Avengers will be taking over the situation with Carnage. You're off the mission. Before I could protest, the the doctor hopped in a portal and left. This is ridiculous. We were never even given a chance. Well, you know what? You don't have to listen to him. Huh? What do you mean? We don't take orders from anybody, especially the Avengers. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Starting tomorrow, we'll continue the mission as usual. That's the spirit. With that, we rested up for the night and prepared to search for the next member of the Sinister Six in the morning. From days 9 through 10, we began searching for the next member. Looks like we got desert for miles. Mm, I love desert. No, not... Uh, never mind. Just then, the ground began to rumble and shake uncontrollably. Ooh, what's happening here? I don't know, but I don't like it. I think I do. <laughs> uh, 
Who's there? Hello, Sand Freak. It's Venom. What do you want? There's this ugly monster called Carnage. He's trying to conquer this planet, including things like you. I don't trust you. You're trying to trick me. Here we go again. The Sandman grew into a huge sand monster. Get over here, you slimy germ. Come on, guys. Let's settle this with words. Bye. Is much more fun. As the battle raged on, so did the Sandman. He began summoning husks from the ground. Clearly, you're outnumbered. You underestimate our strength. Sandman's numbers did not compete with our speed and strength. Eventually, he gave up. So will you join us or not? Well, if the rest of the six believe you, then I'm in. That's what we like to hear. On days 11 through 13, Venom and I were walking along, searching for the third member of the six. Ugh, I'm bored. You walk so slow. Well, if you've got a better idea, I'm open to suggestions. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Check it out. Whoa. Awesome! I transformed into full Venom and started swinging through the city. Spider-Man spotted us swinging and started swinging nearby, trying to flag us down. Hey, I've been looking for you. We gotta talk. Sup, Spidey? So here's the deal. The Avengers aren't taking the threat of Carnage seriously at all, but my Spidey senses are telling me he's up to something big. I want to team up with you to take him down. Wow, I actually hate that. That sounds horrible. Come on, Venom. We have a mutual enemy to rally against. It only makes sense that we work together. Nope, not gonna happen. Venom took full control over my body and forced me to swing away. Once we were out of sight of Spider-Man, Venom stopped and gave me back control. That was pretty rude, Venom. He only wants to help us. I would rather let Carnage destroy the world than work together with Spider-Man. All right, drama queen. Besides, we've almost made it to the next member of the Sinister Six. On days 14 through 17, we arrived arrived at a swamp at the edge of the city. It was dark out, but I could see the glowing green light of toxins. Hmm, we must be close. After searching through the swamp for a while, we finally found a giant lizard person. Hey, what's up, Venom? Long time no see. Unfortunately, there's no time to catch up, Doc. We're getting the Sinister Six together so we can stop Carnage and save the world. What do you say? Are you in? Hmm. Before I had the chance to answer, there was a huge explosion right in between us. I looked up, and it was Iron Man! Oh no, not you guys again! Stop trying to get together the Sinister Six. You're just going to cause more problems. Leave Carnage to us. Spider-Man himself told us you're not taking it seriously. We're never gonna stop! But I guess you leave me no choice, dude. Iron Man started fighting us, and the lizard jumped in to help too. Iron Man used his repulsor to shoot explosion at us, and he was way too powerful. Eventually, Venom was forced to yield, and I transformed back into Bronzo. I better not hear about you goofs talking to any other villains. I'll beat you up as many times as I have to. If that's the way that has to be, then I promise Venom and I will stop. Cool. See you around, Bronzo. You're not gonna stop, are you? No. no. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. During days 18 to 21, after Dr. Connors signed on to be on the team, I traveled back to the base. This place is so tiny like you. I want to make it bigger to fit all my friends. I only agreed with one of the things you said. Let's get building. We began clearing up the area. Venom separated from me and helped to speed things up. I'm strong enough to be your size now. That means I can help more. We started making rooms, one for each of the four members we talked to so far. Sandman's had a desert theme. Vulture and Mysterio each had different tech-themed rooms, plus an extra fishbowl for Mysterio. Mysterio, and a swamp lab theme for the lizard, aka Dr. Connors. A farm was also included, so we had endless amount of food. I added some chickens, bred them, and then killed them. Mm, delicious. We then took a step back and looked at all the hard work we accomplished. Looking good. Days 22 through 25 were spent looking for the next member of the Sinister Six, Craven the Hunter. I used my swinging ability to speed up our travel, and eventually we made it into a forest. As we entered, I felt an arrow hit me. Ow! Who 
did that? Looking around, I spotted a man dressed in purple. Hawkeye? Hearing this, Venom came out. Why'd you shoot me? I shot you because Iron Man still doesn't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. As for what I want, I'm here to take down Kraven the Hunter. We launched at Hawkeye. He kept hitting us and avoided most of our attacks using his own grappling hook. Dang it! We need an aerial attack! On it! He made a trident for us to use, and I threw it hard at Hawkeye, and the trident hit him a few times on the head, and he turned into Mysterio. Venom went away, and we were both confused. Uh, what just happened? Mysterio seemed to realize he was caught. Oops. Why were you pretending to be Hawkeye? Uh, I, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. Was it? Well... No. Do you happen to know where Craven the Hunter is? Yes, actually. Just find the jungle temple, and he should be there. I better get going now. Mysterio ran off in a hurry. Weird. Glad that's over. With the new lead, we went further into the jungle to continue our search. On days 26 through 29, we came across the jungle temple. I entered the building to find Craven the Hunter with lots of treasure. I walked up from behind, and he already knew I was there. Hello, Venom. I've been expecting you. How did you know I was coming? Mysterio already told me. You're getting band back together. Yep, so are you in? I mean... Suddenly, a shield flew out of nowhere. It was Captain America, and Venom lunged into battle. The Cap was a pretty tough opponent, and for a while, Kraven and Captain America exchanged blows until Venom finally stopped the fight. Wait, 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 wait. Mysterio, is that you? What? No, I'm Captain America. I was sent here by Tony. Hmm. All right, whatever you say, Quentin. Venom went away, leaving me to deal with the situation. Well, anyway, I'm gonna stop you from recruiting Craven to the Sinister Six. What? No, that's not what I'm doing here at all. No way. You think I would go against the Avengers' orders? Of course not. I'm here to lock Craven up for all the stuff he stole. Oh. Well, good. Let me help you with that then. We turned to look at Craven and discovered he was already gone. We looked for him inside the temple, but he was nowhere to be seen. Darn it. If only I hadn't been so rudely interrupted, maybe I could have caught him. My apologies. I hate to impede on a hero's process. Won't happen again. With that, Venom and I left the temple and began traveling back to the base. From days 30 to 33, I headed back to the base and Venom was bummed out. I'm sure Craven will be back back any time. Well, what about the Avengers? They still don't trust us. Well, me. Well, you haven't really given them a reason to trust you. I've given them reason enough. I've even tried to kill Carnage before. Ah, uh, my back. Get a load of this. I thought I was done for, but when Eddie's girlfriend began ringing the church bells, Carnage didn't like that. So that's your weakness, huh? Let's do this, Eddie. I transformed into my larger form. We then charged each other full speed, and that was it. What? What happened next? I won, of course. Like a boss. Come on, let's keep moving. During days 34 through 37, we arrived at the base with a surprise guest. Raven, I'm so happy you're here. Friend, I am also happy to be here. We have to work together to stop carnage. Wait, how'd you know where I live? Do not worry your pretty little head about it. Whatever you say, let's get you set up here. We made quick work of Craven's new room, and he loved it. I feel right at home. Thank you, guys. Do you happen to know where the last member of the Sinister Six is? Doc Ock? You want the Doc? Don't be crazy. We can't put him in Minecraft. We have to use Electro. Why not? What's wrong with the Doc? He is more budget friendly. Okay, Craven, do you know where Electro is? Actually, I do. We will leave in morning. On days 38 through 41, I left the base with Craven and traveled back to the big city. You're going to need to find power plant. That is where you will find Electro. What about you? This is where I leave you. I got to get out of here before any heroes spot me. Well, thanks for the help. I brought out Venom and we swung away. We arrived at the power plant and started to look around. Hmm, I don't see anybody. Suddenly, I felt a wave of electricity shoot through me. That must be him. <laughs> Hello there, Venom. I've been expecting you. Really? How did you know I was coming? 
Carnage was here before you, and he offered to make me his right hand man. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Just then, Spider-Man swung in. I'm warning you, Electro, don't take that offer. Spider-Man, what an unexpected surprise. Electro immediately started attacking Spider-Man, and Spider-Man fought back. Electro used his electric sword to shock Spider-Man. However, Spider-Man seemed to be unfazed. I guess his spider senses were working at full force. Finally, I had to intervene. Hey, 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 break it up. You're getting distracted. This isn't what we're here for. Listen, Electro, you're a doof if you think Carnage is going to stick to his word. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're probably right. The only thing is, I feel like I should be on the winning side. Well, if you don't want to help, the Avengers are always just a call away. I could call them right now. Okay, fine. I'll help Venom, not you. That's good enough for me. With that settled, Spider-Man went his own way, and I showed Electro the way back to the base. On days 42 to 45, we returned to the base with Electro. You're gonna need a room. One moment. We went to work making him an electric themed room. This looks shockingly good. Uh, I'll be back later. After hearing Electro's bad joke, I decided to kill some chickens for their meat. This should be enough. Let's head back. Hey, Electro, want some raw chicken? It's delicious. I'm uh, good, thanks. <laughs> We should have everyone here soon. They will be here shortly. Hey, Bronzo, it might be a smart idea to get yourself a nice weapon in case we get separated. I went searching for diamonds so that I could make myself a full diamond tool set. Okay, now I have a diamond sword, axe, and pickaxe. Good, now I don't have to babysit you. Whatever. When we returned, Electro had some news. They will be here tomorrow. Good, I look forward to it. On days 46 through 49, I woke up and stepped outside to find Electro. Moments later, the Vulture and Mysterio arrived. Then the Sandman materialized next to me, and the Lizard and Craven entered the scene. Finally, the whole gang was together. I'm so happy to see everyone together. Finally, we are ready to start coming up with a plan to stop Carnage. Actually, that was never the plan at all. What? They all work for me. No! Venom lunged at Carnage in a fury. Carnage punched back and dodged Venom's fist before striking again. The other members came in and started wailing on us all at once. We were overpowered. <laughs> There's no hope for you, Venom. You're going to lose. They all left together, and Venom went away in shame. On days 50 through 53, Venom was a little upset. I can't believe it. My entire plan just went up in flames. I feel like maybe you should have seen this coming. They're all villains after all. But they were my friends and I made them all rooms here. And it was gonna be so cool if we defeated Carnage together. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. What are we gonna do now, Bronzo? I think maybe we should team up with Spider-Man now. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. With that, we wasted no time and left to go find Spider-Man. We arrived at the city and started swinging around, and eventually we found Spidey hanging out with Iron Man. I had to tell them what happened, even though it was embarrassing. Huh, that's strange. Sounds like maybe you should have listened to me in the first place. Yeah, well, now it's too late for that. All right, kid, you're gonna have to help me with this whole situation. You're gonna need a suit upgrade first, though. Here, I can take care of that. Venom gave Spider-Man a piece of the symbiote, and it fused with his suit. Whoa, sweet. So, here's what I'm thinking. We need to take out each of the Sinister Six one at a time, because taking them all out at once would be a nightmare. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I'll send Avengers to help when I can. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. With that, Spidey and I swung away to take on the first member of the Sinister Six. On days 54 through 57, Spidey was telling me his plan. I think we should start small and go for Craven first. Any ideas where to find him? Wolverine showed up just in time to hear Venom's question. I do. I know exactly where Craven might be. Awesome. Looks like we've got even more backup. Sure do. Now follow me. 
We followed Wolverine into the snowy mountains and came across a log cabin. This must be the place. We went inside cautiously. The place was completely decked out with technology. Why would Craven be in a place like this? He doesn't even like the cold. That's why he left Russia. Yeah, that's probably why he's not here. We weren't with Wolverine at all. It was actually Mysterio again. Seriously? Spidey and I jumped into action and started fighting against Mysterio. He fought back using some cool illusion powers. We held our ground, but then Mysterio duplicated himself. Oh no, my Spidey senses aren't working on him. Good thing my senses still work. The real Wolverine suddenly joined us. He slashed at one of the Mysterios, and that one fell to the ground. As he did, all the others disappeared. Thanks for the help, Wolverine. Whatever. Just get off my property, Baba. Oh, okay. Sorry. We're off then. I'll see that Mysterio gets to the raft, Bronzo. Sounds good. Venom and I headed out to continue the search. We kept looking on days 58 through 61. We decided Craven would most likely be in the jungle, so we started heading there, but then Venom got sad again. <sighs> Maybe we should just go home. Let the Avengers handle this one. He then separated from my body. Come on, buddy. It's not your fault. We need to work together to fix this. Yeah, you're right. It's Eddie's fault. He made carnage in the first place. I saw another flashback of Eddie talking with Cletus Cassidy in a prison room. So what about your parents? What were they like? No! Cletus lashed out and slapped Eddie, causing him to bleed and spill blood on the floor. We are not talking about them. The blood then disappeared and Cletus's eyes turned red. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, if you hadn't been with Eddie when that happened, Carnage would have never been made. I hate it when you're right. He merged back into me, and we swung away to continue looking for Craven. On days 62 through 65, I made it to the jungle. Wait, is that She-Hulk? What is she doing here? Hey, Jennifer, right? Are you here to help? What? No, I've got other things to deal with. Titania's around here somewhere. I can help with that, but you're not gonna try to kiss me like you did with Daredevil, are you? Ew, no! But yeah, I can help you out if you can help me find Titania. Sounds good. Maybe the things we're looking for will end up being together. Huh? Yeah, maybe. But like, how would you know? I looked at the outline. They are totally in the next scene. Outline? What are you- Enough chatter. Let's move. We found a large jungle base on days 66 through 70. This must be the spot. We could see a ton of henchmen and goons everywhere. We started to plan out how to get in. Just let me eat them. No, we need to sneak in. I started to come up with a stealth mission, but then I looked over and saw that She-Hulk was already brute forcing her way through the defenses. Ooh, I like her. Maybe I will give her a kiss. Ew, gross. I morphed fully into Venom and we swung into the base to help. We were taking down those goons left and right when Titania emerged from the shadows and started fighting She-Hulk. See, this is why people don't like lawyers. I'm here for my deposition. She-Hulk and Titania became locked in battle. They seemed evenly matched, but before we could step in, Kraven appeared. Alien Goop. Now that is exotic game. Now that Craven was there, we started fighting. After fighting for a little bit, She-Hulk and I swapped opponents to watch each other's backs. The battle went on, and somehow I started fighting She-Hulk and Titania started fighting Craven. Wait, weren't you? I think we got confused at some point. Hold on, time out. Okay, so I was fighting you and- No, we were fighting her. No, we were fighting Craven, dude. Right, exactly what I said. I think we've got it. Okay, we all ready? She-Hulk and I charged at Craven and Titania, striking them both with a synchronized attack and knocking them out. We did it! Good work. I'll take that kiss now. Nah, I'm good on that front. Just then, drones from the Iron Legion flew into the base and took Titania and Craven away. Right on time as usual, Tony. Thanks for the help. Likewise. Then She-Hulk and I parted ways as I swung away from the scene. On days 71 through 74, I was traveling and formulating a plan with Venom. All right, dude, who's up next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we go after the lizard. Suddenly, a shield was thrown in front of us. Lucky for you. 
Scientists who change their physical form are my specialty. Well, if it isn't the boy scout. I'm here to help you fight the lizard. Great. Do you happen to know where he might be? I got a general idea. I hope you're ready to get stinky, because we're going into the sewers. Days 75 through 78 started on the gross side. We dropped into the sewers with Captain America, and the smell was awful. I think I'm gonna be sick. I like it. You're disgusting. Quit fooling around. We gotta keep moving. We kept going until we started to see green water in a large area of the sewer. We must be here. We found the lizard, and we immediately launched into battle. Take that, you cold-blooded freak. We struck him with our hammer as Captain America used his shield and fists. You take that, you little hunk of sludge. Unfortunately for the lizard, the slime that was in the sewer actually caused us to become a large venom. I had new attack powers, including a roar ability. Who's little again? Ah, oh, oops. I attacked him with the new powers, like my new smash attack. With my newfound strength and Captain America's help, we easily overpowered the lizard. The captain threw a splash potion at the lizard, and it turned him back into his human form. I don't feel so good. Heck yeah, we did it. Great work. I'm going to take this guy back to Tony. Oh, good. I'm ready to get out of this sewer ASAP. Days 79 through 82, we arrived again at our base to find explosion holes everywhere. What the? What happened? We heard laughter from above. It can't be. The green goblin flew in and started throwing pumpkin bombs. I quickly turned into large venom and dodged another bomb. We were able to fight him, but I had to use the trident a lot since he was able to fly out of reach. Just get down here. I used my roar ability, but it wasn't quite enough. The Goblin started mocking us. You took down the members of the six, but did you really forget that there are more than just six members? How stupid! Shut up! I managed to hit his glider and broke it. Green Goblin fell to the ground with a thud and passed out. We hurried and locked him in a makeshift cell before he could wake up. Who's stupid now? We started interrogating the Green Goblin on days 83 and 84. Question me all you want. Carnage will win. I promise. What is his plan? How is he going to destroy the world? It's simple, really. He's going to turn everyone into symbiotes. <laughs> oh, I've had enough of this. Venom was ready to pummel him again. But then Iron Man arrived, ready to take away the goblin. You got lucky this time, Osborne. Good job catching another one. Thanks. Do you think you could help us catch the remaining Sinister Six? Unfortunately, I'm too busy currently but I'll be sure to send someone else to help. That works with us. We handed over the Green Goblin and Iron Man left with him. I turned to look at our destroyed base. Ugh, guess we better clean up this mess now. Venom split from me and we spent some time repairing the damage. As we finished, I noticed Venom was being quieter than usual. Hey, you good? I still can't believe my own friends betrayed me like that. I thought I could trust them. You can't give up now. We are so close to defeating Carnage. Those backstabbing losers don't deserve to be your friends. You know what? You're right. I won't give up. That's the spirit. Venom joined with me again, and we went inside my room to eat and rest. For days 85 and 86, I was walking through the city when suddenly I ran into Electro. I quickly transformed into Venom. Whoa, buddy. What do you think you're doing here? I'm gonna fight you right now. You locked up my brother. Brother? I didn't know you had a brother. Suddenly, Electro transformed and it was Chameleon. Why does Spider-Man have so many villains that disguise themselves as other people? It's only like two. Too, too many. Am I right? You'll pay for that. He was no match for me, since his only powers are disguise related. I defeated him with ease. Not really sure what you expected to do here, buddy. Just then, Hawkeye appeared. Hey, thanks for stopping Chameleon. Hey, yeah, no problem. Well, it seems like more villains might be trying to join the Sinister Six, since you've been taking out the original members. Hmm, would you want to help me take them out? Yeah, sure. During days 87 through 88, I followed Hawkeye around the city with something on my mind. Hold on, who is the first person we'll fight? That would be me! <laughs> what the heck? Who is that supposed to be? It's Scream! Be on your best game! Let's do this! 
I fought Scream with ease. She really wasn't a match for me, let alone my sidekick, Hawkeye. Then we encountered Mr. Negative. In my opinion, it was a pretty positive exchange. <laughs> we took care of him easily. My favorite part was taking down the beautiful Black Cat. She was feisty, but she too got put away. Wait, why are you narrating? That's my job. Oh, sorry. The last villain we finished off was the Prowler. He put up a good fight, but it wasn't enough for Venom, Hawkeye, and I. Thanks for all the hard work, guys. I'll make sure all these villains stay locked up. No problem. I couldn't have done it without Venom. He's really changed lately. I'm proud of you, Venom. You've become a real hero. Eddie would be proud. Yes, Eddie would be <laughs> Oh, I miss you, Eddie. Before Venom got more emotional, we swung away. During days 89 and 90, I searched around for the last three members of the Sinister Six. Hmm, looks like we made it to another city. I turned into Venom and began swinging around. Hey, old friend. What the? We both then landed on the top of a building. I think I might have a lead on where Carnage and Electro could be. Okay, say more. I just don't know where Vulture and Sandman are hiding. Well, keep looking. Don't just stand here. Okay, I'm sure we'll find him soon. See you around. He totally sucks. We kept swinging and eventually made it to a desert. Hmm, this wasn't always a desert. Wait, is that? Venom and I saw Vulture in the distance. We found you, little bird. We made it to the middle of the desert on days 91 through 93 and found Doctor Strange fighting the Vulture. Hey, do you need help fighting? Yeah, I do. But with that right there, I turned and looked where he was referencing to find Sandman running up to me in his large form. Ah! I quickly became Large Venom and hurled myself back at him. Nice try, Sandy. We continued to bash each other, but Sandman seemed to be getting tired. I guess we were much stronger than him. Is that all you've got? I guess I'm losing my touch, kid. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange managed to knock out the Vulture shortly after, making him fall from the sky. Ugh, my legs. Finally. Now then. He ran over to where we were fighting Sandman and threw a potion at him. Suddenly, he turned back into a person. What? I'm cured? Why the heck did you not just do that in the first place? What? I didn't want to miss. We turned back into our smaller form, thankful that there was only one more Sinister Six member to fight. All right, you go help Spider-Man. I'll clean up the mess here. We returned again to the city on days 94 through 96 and started walking through the city to look for Spider-Man. I never get bored of this. Hold up, how are we supposed to defeat Electro? We'll leave that up to Spider-Man. Speaking of the devil, there he is. Spider-Man swung in and landed in front of us. Hey, Spy Spy, what's up? Hey, Ven Ven. Glad to see you, my dude. Did you catch any other guys? Of course we did. We are Venom. Creepy, but I like the energy. Follow me to Electro. I've been chasing him all day. After you. On days 97 through 98, it was dark, and we finally caught up to Electro. Hey, Pikachu. Are you going to join me or what? Ah, I would never join sides with Spider-Man. Traitor! Traitor? We began brawling and got a few good hits on Electro, but he returned the damage. Ouch! Stop shocking me! Eat this! Bring him closer to me so I can use the serum to turn him into his human form. Hey, car battery! Over here! Nice try, Tar Pit! hi -ya! Electro turned his attention to Spidey and zapped him, making him fall and injuring him badly. Ah! Spidey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Take the serum. Finish this. You got it, pal. I climbed as fast as I could to get Electro. Take this, and that, and most importantly, this. Too slow, sucker. Eat some serum, why don't ya? When the serum hit, Electro turned back into a human. Yes, we did it. Wait, Spidey. On day 99, I was in a hospital, hoping Spidey would be okay. This is worse than I thought. They're said my organs are fried. I'm lucky to be alive. Yeah, but we're one step closer to stopping Carnage because of you. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Look, Venom, 
You're gonna have to complete this on your own. It's okay. I know we can do it without you. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I'm just saying with or without you, we would be able to stop carnage. Whatever. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah! Like this video! Comment what your favorite part of the video was, and subscribe if you haven't already! Oh, I've been subbed. And I'll hit that notification bell while I'm at it. Hey, buddy, one more thing. Take this villager bell and use it to stop carnage. Thanks, Spidey. I then left Spidey to heal. <sighs> We're all screwed. It was day 100, and Carnage was on top of a large building with a large device next to him. Carnage, stop it now! It's over! No, I'm close to the now. I'm going to use this device to turn everyone into symbiotes. <laughs> Not if I can stop it. Bring it on! He packed a powerful hit, even while we were in our giant forms. But we were sure we could take him. Just give up, Carnage. I defeated the six, and you're next. I'll get you this time. Ah, give up, Carnage. We're stronger. Carnage kept swinging at us, but Venom swung harder and really got a hit on him. Ah, making him turn back into a smaller version of Carnage, revealing something. Eddie, what are you doing there? I'll explain later. Hurry, you gotta stop Carnage. We pulled out the bell and began ringing it as fast as we could. <laughs> Carnage then fell off of Eddie and became a small goop of symbiote. Venom and I separated and he went after Carnage. Come to Papa, yummy. <laughs> that was gross. I'm sorry for everything, Venom. I'll let you take control of my body again. What do you say? Venom turned to look at me for approval. Go on, Venom. You belong with Eddie. Venom merged back with Eddie and swung away. Bronzo! Don't forget to download War Thunder for free and receive tons of awesome goodies as a new player.